Yo, girls and guys, it's your underly enthusiastic weirdo from the internet that for some reason you're attached to. For some reason you're still looking at my weird videos. Um, so this is going to kind of serve as a birthday commentary. It's, it's not really going to be happy, like I'm mostly going to complain the whole time, but you were warned. And, um... <clears throat> I am celebrating, like I am pretty happy. My family's had a lot of good days recently. Um, a lot of things to be grateful for and excited about. Don't get me wrong, it's just, it's that age old problem of trying to be a fucking human on planet motherfucking Earth. You will be attacked by something. Your COVID will fucking suck dick. Your girlfriend will be a cheating fucking ugly bitch. Your, you will get you will die. You will feel like shit during your lifetime. You will <clears throat> reap insane punishment for small mistakes. Like, there's just so many things bearing down on me. It's hard to even feel like it's my birthday, you know? It always fucking happens to me. I, I, I'm having a good time. I literally had a great week the entire week. I played a bunch of Zelda. I, I got back into yoga. I'm doing good all week. Eating healthy. And then out of nowhere, like, douche nostalgia just takes my whole life away, basically. Nostalgia, fear of the future, thinking about my past and the people who just ruined good relationships of mine. Um, bad dreams, stupid sexual dreams, nightmares... Waking up feeling like shit, sicknesses, COVID, not understanding I had COVID at first, so I couldn't give myself the best chance at fighting against it. Family don't really even care if I die from COVID. They don't even like, ah, eh, it's time to go to work, you know what I mean? Like, I have to sit here and like, for two weeks, like, sit here and suffer because nobody like, helped me through the initial COVID. Now, now I got cement lung and it's not going away and... You know what I mean? It's just like almost every single thing I, I don't like about life that bear when it bears down, when it bears its fangs at me and, and other people, almost every single one of them like is easily remedied if people aren't douchebags. Well, if your girlfriend's not a cheating fucking petty ass whore, you're not going to have to deal with heartbreak. Well, if your family actually gives a shit about you when they give you COVID that they got from the hospital, they'd actually make sure you knew that absolutely don't smoke you absolutely have covid absolutely eat really good absolutely try to fast some days absolutely take extreme care of your lungs while you have covid you know what i mean like why do i have to teach myself this shit after i have cement lung you know what i mean like it's fucking annoying when no you're you know what i mean you you're literally paid to help people get through sicknesses. You give your family COVID, you, you should probably have their back more than nothing. I'm just, I'm getting tired of this shit, you know. It's hard to be enthusiastic for life when I try super hard for a fucking week straight. Every day, every moment of every day, I'm breathing, I'm trying to main, remain happy, I'm trying, I'm, I'm doing stuff, I'm taking care of my health. And it just, oh, the, 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 God's world always ends up with the same bullshit. Amaranth douchey on Twitch is making buku bucks. And me over here, I'm the best Halo player in the world and I'm getting nothing. You know what I mean? And some douche who's half as good as me and only gets clips on Smurf accounts is, is getting 100,000 views a day. You know what I mean? It's like. Once you realize, like, that actually happens on this planet, you start to... It, there's nothing you can do. You automatically... Because the planet is so douchey and there's so many douchey people, you automatically start to hate aspects of life. It's not even a choice. You don't... It's not my attitude towards it. It's... You know, my attitude is actually one of somebody wanting to be happier and, and more loving of life. It just is impossible sometimes. Uh, you name it, like, how have we not taught people how risky COVID is and, and to really pay attention to anytime you think you have a cold, 
just now you basically just have to assume you might have swine flu or you might have COVID or you might have neurovirus and it could kill you. You better take care of yourself. You know what I mean? Like, why have we not taught people that? Oh, we haven't taught people that because we don't care about other human beings. We don't care if people accidentally kill themselves 20 years, 30 years, 40 years early. We don't give a shit. You know what I mean? We don't give a shit if we crush their hearts. We don't give a shit if we lie to them for years and then crush their hearts. We don't give a shit. Like, the, the way that we have cringed up this world is ridiculous. You'd almost swear that we actually do all deserve to die, you know? Even though there's super nice, loving, caring people out there like me and, and my family. The douchiness of the universe makes you feel like, damn... We're all, not only are we all buttfuck, which is true, we're all inherently got some massive degree of evil inside of us as well, so. That nice person that you, from, that you remember back from high school, well, guess what? They like dirty dick in their fucking mouth, they like cheating on their boyfriend, they, they are stuck up as shit in their 30s, like, <laughs> no. That little nice person you remember is a douche like everyone else. Douchebag Twitch porn girls are douchey as fuck. The Twitch staff is douchey as fuck. The video game communities that you want to be a part of and you want to master and you want to stream for and you want to create content for, most of them are douchey as fuck. Only care about the already populars. Like, come on. Why do I have to sit here and dissect the whole fucking universe every time I'm start, I start realizing how bullshit a lot of this is, you know? Like, just the fact that I tried so hard the last week to take care of myself, and I'm waking up with cement lung, nobody cares, <laughs> I barely even care about myself, only thing I care about is the fact that it's not going away, you know what I mean? We're all like that. We don't even, we could have 10,000 healthy days in a row, but the second we get sick, all we care about is the fact that we're not getting healthy faster, or like... I'm so sick of, of the human condition, you know? Like, we're, we're not fit to raise more humans. Uh, this planet is not okay, you know? We have fucking bombs from 100 years ago that are ready to blow up the whole Earth. <laughs> like, I don't really understand why we're bringing more people into this mess. Nothing really makes that much sense when you think about it. Everyone is just a fucking automaton fucking idiot fucking their brains out in their 20s. Balding in their 30s. Sag girling in their 35s when they start getting wrinkles. Oh, I can't be a, a douchebag influencer without a fuck ton of makeup now. Like, you name it. I could just rip apart almost anything. And it's all, like, valid. I'm not even just, like, doing it out of, like, sheer hate. I actually love a lot of these people, and I wish that things were different for all of us. It's just... When you've seen so much douchebaggery that you can't contain it inside anymore, and you have to share it, you know that something is up. Something is wrong. We don't teach people how douchey COVID is, how douchey the neurovirus is. We don't teach people how douchey it is to be an adult where you can basically eat nothing. If you eat anything even a little bit yummy, you're instantly thrown into a food coma. You're going to wake up with a heart attack. You're going to wake up with heart palpitations. You're going to sit there in your bed like... <laughs> for like five hours having an anxiety attack because you think the heartburn is finally going to do you in. Like, I'm not even kidding, though. Like, I might sound like I'm joking around or being, like, exclamatory. But no, it's, I'm actually just being honest. COVID will give you a uh, lymph node lung cancer. You better fucking watch out if you get that shit. You better, you, at this point in life, you have to treat any slight, you know, you, you think it's a cold for the first few hours. So you're like, eh, I'm good. I'll just keep eating and smoking and doing the things the way I always do. No, you have fucking COVID. You're going to get cement lung and kill yourself. Fucking idiot. And it's actually, you're not the fucking idiot. The doctors and the and the girls and the douchebag porn girls and every, all those people are fucking idiots. And you're just actually, sadly a byproduct of their idiocracy. You're, what's happening to you is only because the other seven billion on the planet are butt fucking ugly douchebags.
Well, you can't say anything about them, otherwise you're going to get turned. They don't care if you're living or you're dead or you got COVID or your heart's broken for the rest of your life. No, you better not insult people for their gender and, and their sexual preference. <laughs> like, that's what we care about. Like, that, the world is so cringe and, and douchey, it's ridiculous. No, we're not teaching people how to survive COVID, which is massively killing a lot of people all across the world. We're not teaching them how to get over smoking. We're not teaching them how to ha handle their diets as an adult. We're not teaching them how to avoid douchebag, uh, cheating douchebag girls. No, we're... Suck it up, douche. Your time heals all wounds, except no, time kills you. No, you shouldn't look at time as a way out of heartbreak. That's the stupidest thing ever. Well, if I just make it 20 more years, maybe my memories of the cheating-ass douchebag girlfriend will go... No, they're not going to go away. You don't want to be 20 years into the future. You want to try to make something good happen for yourself now. Idiot. And the girl who cheated on you is a douchebag idiot. You might just be an idiot, but she, in fact, is a douchebag idiot who deserves death. More so than a, an average person, is what I'm trying to say. You see what I mean? Like, why do I have to get this angry? Why do I have to talk this real about the world? Oh, because the world is massively full of douchebags. Sorry. You're probably fucking one of them. Hopefully you're not one of the super bad ones. But yeah, that's what you have to look forward to growing up. Um, I really wanted to have a good attitude for my little birthday commentary, but that's not going to happen because life is fucking attacking me. I, I did nothing got COVID and, uh, and now I've haven't had a happy day for the last two weeks, basically, even though I've tried my best. <laughs> like what kind of joke is that? Like what kind of world does that to somebody in the, on their birthday? You know what I mean? And the, in the week before their birthday, that's what kind of world we live in before you ever think anything is good about this world. Just put yourself in those shoes. Mm. Oh, it's your birthday? Well, have fun dying of cement lung, <laughs> you know. Oh, you fell in love in your 20s and you think you're about to have a good rest of your... No, you're getting cheated on. Person's a douchebag. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like... We just need to be more vocal about how cringe the world is. How we shouldn't be bringing excessive life form into the world. How we need to change almost absolutely every aspect of it. To even have it inhabitable for the rest of our current lives let alone our children. You know what I mean? Sadly, none of that, all that shit's going to fly under the radar. The 7 billion are going to stay masturbating to amaranth fart porn on the internet. And yeah, <laughs> that's the world we live in. That's how douchey people have made it. Even like your nurses and your doctors don't actually give a shit about you. You're, there's, you're just like a, for, not saying all of them, but mo the vast majority, you're just a paycheck to them most days. Even the good ones, most days, you're just a paycheck to them. They don't really care if you, what happens to your body. If you get cement lung, they don't really care if your family gets cement lung. It's crazy. You know what I mean? Like it shouldn't even be called COVID. We should be calling the shit cement lung. Like that is what it is. And that's how scary it is. Shouldn't call shit Nero virus. Shouldn't call shit heartburn. It's not heartburn. You're fucking burning your arteries and clogging your arteries and dying. Heartburn is just an, a consequence. You know what I mean? Quit calling it heartburn. No, it's heart. It's heart flame. It's it's heart death. <laughs> it's a mini heart death. Heart palpitation. Douchey. Like the the names we use for things and, and the cheating girls. They're not. They're not just cheating girls. They're fucking ugly mustachio douchebags with no fucking personality and no fucking energy and no happiness for the universe that's what they are we don't give them the proper name because we're pc as fuck and we're douchey as fuck these days we can't even warn people about the massive quantity of, of heartbreaking evil cheating liars that are out there that encompasses almost an entire gender of our two gender world <laughs> like Give me a fucking break of that fucking Kit Kat bar, that matcha flavored Kit Kat bar, and get the fuck off your stupid ass YouTube short and your stupid ass TikTok where you're reviewing flavored Kit Kats and give it to somebody who actually deserves it, you fucking douchebag. That's the message that needs to go out there to the universe. 
Get these money grubbers, get these popularity contest douchebags, get these cheaters out of the fucking planet. They don't belong here. We don't need that shit. We have literal people losing their life to misinformation. <laughs> you know what I mean? We don't have a second to waste on fart jar, ASMR, dumb fuck, butt fucking ugly douchebag makeup girl with fake tits as well. Just to be more Instagram as douche as, as, douche as possible. Anyway, <laughs> I was having a good birthday until all that shit shit stormed my brain and I woke up from eating broccoli and a healthy smoothie and I, and I have nasty lingering heartburn. My throat doesn't feel good. COVID is still attacking me two weeks later. Nobody warned me that it was so douchey. Like, you name it. Basically, everything that could have went wrong was for me this last two weeks was easily preventable. With one person who's a little bit honest like me, I think easily could have taught me everything I needed to know and warned me and helped me make the right decisions and helped me take care of myself. You know what I mean? But no, we have douchey douche on the internet making money off of her plastic boobs. That is what is happening instead of us helping people with real problems. And like, it's, it's ridiculous. When you really start to break it down and think about it and get affected by it as an adult and get affected by the universe as an adult, you really start to see like how far off the rails we are. Anyway, somebody had to be honest about some of the bullshit going on here. I just wanted to chat with you guys for a bir my birthday. I'm going to pair this with some link to the past practice and put it up a week, about a week after my birthday or whatever. Anyways, I'm going to, I have some healthy fruit. My family has been taking good care of me. They didn't properly help me with through COVID, but that's okay. We'll give them a pass because they're my family. I don't like, like I said, I don't like calling it COVID. I'm going to start calling, uh, cement lung, super cold, super, uh, super swine flu. That's basically what it should be. Super Nero. Sorry. Cement lung, super. I'm going to say this literally every time I ever reference that sickness in the, for the rest of my life. Cement lung, super Nero virus. It's not a thing from a video game or a movie. It's actual, it's an actual thing that the government produced to try to kill us. Like it's crazy. And you can't even talk about it. You actually get shut down on the internet. It, like, that's how crazy these fuckers are. That's how douchey the rich corporate pigs are. That's how in control of every aspect of our lives they actually are. You can't even warn people about something that's going to kill them now. Because that is too much now. Can't warn them about the cheating douche gender. You can't warn them about nothing. It's ridiculous fucking hate this planet i love hum I love the good side of humanity to my absolute core but i fucking hate this planet and i fucking hate the cheaters on this planet i fucking hate the liars and i fucking hate the rich people who are douchebags it's not my choice they all decided to be that type of evil you know that's all they did with it. They're like, they're like, well, everyone's got to die. I'm in the back of my mind. I'm just going to pretend that only I have to die. So I get to be evil to people for the rest of my life. Like that's literally the, the logic going through their brains of the fart ASMR fucking idiot Twitch porn girls and everything. And the douchebag corporate greed mongler fucking making money off of them as well. Same cut from the same fucking cloth. If I ever get taken down for vocalizing my opinion about this shit, I'm I'm gonna hate I'm gonna I'm gonna hate YouTube for the rest of my life. At that point, they better not take me down for that's all I'm gonna say for vocalizing an honest opinion with non-offensive words about true things that it's not even things that I've experienced. It's things that other people have forced into my life and others' lives. It's not even my perception of the things. It's literally what they've done to me and other people. Anyways, I had to rant for a little bit. I could feel the shit like boiling up inside of me and it was fucking annoying. Literally, I should not be waking up from eating broccoli and a smoothie and waking up. I, I let it digest for two hours. I accidentally fell asleep because I was tired. I wake up two hours later. I should not be waking up dead. The reason I'm waking up dead is because the reason I'm waking up dead 
is because we haven't taught people how to live their lives. We haven't taught them the truth and the consequences. We haven't taught them how to become adults. We haven't taught them fucking bullshit. We haven't taught them anything. I could teach a little kid more than they're going to learn in their first 18 years of their fucking life in one fucking hour of talking to them. And them act- if they actually listen to me and they actually listen to my advice and took it to heart. And I'm just a normal fucking idiot. You know what I mean? I could share almost a lifetime of spiritual and true fact learning about the world. And meanwhile, you can get none of that in your first 18 years in a public school system of douchebags trying to give you heart attacks, trying to be, trying to force you into extreme anxiety and depression by making you deal with bullies every day of your life. Oh yeah, let's all, let's make the fat kids and the ugly kids change their clothes in a small locker room next to stinky fucking douchebags who whip their cocks out in the shower and compare cock sizes for their football team douchebags. Like, that's literally what they did, and that's literally who they were to, to people in our school. To me, other nerds, ugly people, the, um, the homosexual dude who... And that's another thing. Like, why is this homosexual guy in our fucking locker room? That doesn't even make any sense, right? <laughs> That makes no sense. I might as well just go in the girls' locker room and peep through the stalls, too. <laughs> like that, When you really think about it, that's the fucking stupidest thing ever. I feel bad for the homosexual guy, and I kind of feel good for him, too. <laughs> he gets to see everything he wants to see. No, you know what I mean, though? Like, that's weird. That was, like, that was back in 2009, too, like, before we became all PC and political justice warrior the fuck out. Before we became douchebags on YouTube, basically, and Twitch, and Instagram, and Reddit, and Google's search history, you know. Oh my god. When you, when you become an, uh, an adult, just bank on... You don't get food anymore, you get water, you know. You don't get to eat... Large quantities of tasty things you get to eat very, you get to eat like a bird. And, and that's how you can eat some tasty things and still live a decent life. You know what I mean? You just have to, you have to grow and change and you have to be willing to make those changes positive, spirit strengthening changes, not worse changes for the worse at all. You can't, you can't, you can't handle any changes for the worse. It'll give you heartbreak. It'll make you chase after some douchebag cheater. It'll give you heartburn, which is basically the same as heart attacks, mini heart attacks. You have to start seeing shit for what it is. You can't just be like, well, I'm a 10 year old and I got a heartburn from eating Doritos and Mountain Dew and falling asleep. No, you actually, you were a 10 year old who's already starting to ruin their organs at a young age. They're already being irreversibly damaged. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we don't teach people that. No one taught me that when I was a kid. How bad heartburn. I had no fucking clue. I was just like, okay, so that this ha- this sucks. I don't like heartburn, but this is only happening to me when I eat five bologna sandwiches in a row. You know what I mean? Well, I didn't learn that, no, you shouldn't train yourself to ever eat bologna sandwiches. No, I, 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 the only thing I learned was don't give myself heartburn by overeating. And that's all a little kid is going to learn unless they're extremely, extremely spiritually advanced. You know what I mean? Anyways, I just wanted to share some of that shit because it's not even like, like, I don't even like talking about this shit. I'm just trying to have a good birthday. You know what I mean? This shit is all attacking my brain, basically. I woke up with a nasty heartburn. I woke up from the nasty nightmare with the past memories annoying me for some reason. I woke up. And I'm trying to think about having a good birthday with my family, but all I can think about is how old I am, and all I can think about is how COVID is fucking shit, and all I can think... You know what I mean? Like, I, it's like I wake up into this state sometimes, and it's just like, I can tell life doesn't love me right now. I just can tell. It's, it's okay with people cheating on me. It's okay with me having cement lung for no reason. It's okay. You know what I mean? It's with me getting nasty stage nine heartburn from eating a fucking bowl of a small bowl of broccoli like yeah you could call me a liar yeah i had other food too but even for the most part i'm telling the truth you know what i mean i'm trying to be a little bit blow things a little bit out of proportion because life does it anyway you know what i mean that's why why am i telling little white lies here and there to make my point well 
It's because life is going to blow it out of proportion, so I might as well give you the harsh version, you know what I mean? Yeah, I could sugarcoat things and be like, well, I probably only got the heartburn because I needed two more hours of digestion, and I could have ate a little bit less chicken, and, and yeah. It's my fault. No, it, no, I'm going to tell you how it really is. The universe is a douche. <laughs> Everything I said is true. I don't care if it seems like I'm making it up or you call me out on a white lie or something. No. I'm telling you it this way because it's the truth. You will get shit nightmares. You will feel horrible when you're when you're aging. You will have to get stronger in your spirit as you get older. You will have to make all these crazy diet changes. You will have to desperately watch out for heart attackers and evil heartbreakers. You know, the second you're not 16 anymore, you better fucking watch out. And it might even hurt you that bad when you're that young too. I don't know. I, I didn't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All I know is if you're even 17, I could have probably handled this shit when I was 17 because I was still young enough to like have a good shot at finding a decent girl. But no, the second you're older than that, the second you're 17 and a half, you do not want this shit happening to you. You're too old to have this type, those type of mistakes happen to you. You know what I mean? Just how it is. Don't believe what anyone says. Time doesn't heal nothing. Actually gets worse. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that when people say time heals all wounds. I want to punch people in the face who believe that so bad. I want to punch them in their stupid fucking small ass dick and their stupid fucking fake ass tits. Because it's not true. Time doesn't heal anything. And in fact, a good t a lot of the times, time just hurts it way worse and you're actually going to have to get way stronger. That's the truth. Heartbreak? Time heals all heartbreak? No. Heartbreak festers and gets massively worse within two to three years of getting attacked. And then the evil that that person injected in your life is in your life for the rest of your life. And it's getting stronger. And you better become the white wolf of your life and be a fucking master. Because that's the only way you're going to have a decent life with that type of darkness in your soul. And that's the truth, idiots. Why does baby Mikey have to fucking... Hop into his fucking shell and, and tell you all this shit and teach you all this shit. Oh, because we're a douchebag planet that doesn't teach people the truth. And actually, when people do discover the truth, we shut them down. Like, And we let douchebag evil succubuses rule the internet as well for some reason. Like, what kind of cuck-ass, simp-ass, douchebag-ass planet are we living on? That evil people are allowed to rule and they're actually declared they're deemed as the as the good ones and people talking about stuff like i do are deemed as the bad ones it makes no sense whatsoever but somehow that's that's the dynamic that's the dogma that's ruling that's the ideology that's ruling our land anyways i'm feeling better just having vented that sorry for the weird birthday discussion but just trying to get myself through this nasty ass cement lung super Nero virus. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to have a good birthday and it's just psychologically, I, I can't do it today. I don't know why. Like I said, I, I'd really tried hard the last two weeks. You probably, you didn't see any commentaries from me really. Um, took care of myself better than I have in a long time. I really tried my best and this is how it ends up. Like, I don't even get one good day on my birthday to feel good. Oh, better do better. The world's not going to help me do better. God's not going to help me do better. Fart girl on the internet's not going to help me do better. Cheater girl from my past ain't going to help me do better. God don't give a fuck about me. He's actually going to attack me on my birthday. But yeah, do better, right? Like that's literally the, just do it. The Nike fucking motto of douchebaggery. That's what I think. I think most people, if you're even half decent, you're better off like sniffing your own ass. You're better off tooting your own horn your entire life, masturbating. You're better off like actually being an asshole who is full of themselves because at least if you're, like I said, if you're even a half decent person, there'll be a side of you that can use that to your advantage. Because 
those type of assholes and the type which is the type that most people are care more about themselves than they do anything else in the world. Sadly, we don't let the good people do that. You know what I mean? The good people, you better be good. You better be selfless. We're not going to we're not going to reward you for it and we're actually going to let you get cheated on and we're going to let you get cement lung and we're going to let you have a shit life, but you better be good. And meanwhile, the rest of us are going to go pretend that we're good and we're going to go fucking cheat on people and we're going to go drink at the bar in our 20s and we're going to go be mean to other people who aren't in our high school friend group anymore and we're going to go steal weed out of your garage when you're not there. We're going to go, you see what I mean? Like, these people literally do shit like that. Douchebag Harley for my school. Fucking douchebag. Literal fucking cock wipe of the universe. Doesn't deserve his life at all. Complete fucking bully douchebag. Gets to gets to do a bunch of illegal shit and gets away with it. Nobody else would would get to do that shit in their in their teens, but this guy is a fucking cock grabber, cock mangler, douchebag. You know what I mean? I don't care if he even became a good person. You were such a fucking douche in high school. You don't deserve a, the rest of your life. You know what I mean? It's just the truth. Like I don't want to be that mean, but you were that mean in high school. You know. <laughs> And not even just to me, mostly to other people. I just didn't, like, I hated bullies so fucking much it was crazy. Like, those bullies are lucky to be alive. That's all I'm gonna say. And not from me, from other people. Like, they're lucky that some crazy, because there was actually some crazy motherfuckers who stood up to the bullies sometimes with knives and shit, like with weapons in school and stuff. And you know what? I don't fucking blame them, because those bullies were the most evil, scum-sucking, disgusting things I've ever seen in my entire life. They weren't even human. There were so many of them, too. Like, almost every douche on the football team was a bully. Like, the worst kind of bully that you could ever imagine. Like, something from a, a bad movie. Bullies take over the world. Spy Kids 5. You know what I mean? Like, like if you're watching the first Spy Kids movie with your now ex-girlfriend and you're rem remembering watching that with her... She's a fucking douchebag. If you watch Spy Kids with a boy and you guys were in love when you watched that movie and then you did something to ruin that love after, you're a fucking douchebag. You know what I mean? Like, come on. That Spy Kids movie is that boy's childhood. He has a memory of watching that with you and being in love. And now you crushed his heart. These people are fucking douchebags. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, you don't just go w around willy-nilly creating extremely heartfelt, connected memories with people and then just doing them bad. You know what I mean? That's not normal. That shouldn't be allowed. That should actually be extremely illegal. It should be extremely punished. It's, But it's not. That's the universe we live in. Like, that's how crazy this fucking planet is, honestly. Anyways, I just wanted to chat about some of that shit and rant for a little bit. I'm all done now. Uh... Thanks for listening to my bulls my bullshit and everything. Um I'm gonna have have a good rest of my birthday tomorrow and uh uh just relax. Just had to vent to like the bullshit basically the universe was attacking me with. I'm like so afraid to ever and love I can't even love food anymore. Like, that's how fucked up this world is. I can't even love food anymore because of the truth that I know about it that nobody else seems to want. Oops, what am I doing? Nobody else seems to want to help us with. Oh, this is way harder on controller. I'm not used to this. Probably so fucking easy if you're used to controller. I think sword buffering is easier on controller. I'll probably just get this once. There's not really any reason to learn this shit on controller. It's hard. It's hard. I probably should just buffer this shit out of it just so I can do it once. 
No, dude. No. Went two pixels down diagonal. When I needed to go one. I was actually getting this, like, first hard part, too. Oh! Gotta restart. I'm sitting way far back on my bed. Don't judge me. I'm sick of being judged. I must not be judged. And that is it. And we placed the bomb too far, I think. But maybe? Ah, oh, fuck you, stupid life. Just give me one, you know? You have to work so fucking hard for everything in life, and you don't even, like, get anything from a lot of it. It's just, like, hard for the sake of being hard. Come on. No, fuck you! See, I can't even say the words I want to say at life because the universe is... Because we've douched up the internet so fucking hard. I don't know what's going wrong here. Literally, I'm going in the right spot. I'm going in the right spot every time and it's not working. Just because I'm using a different device. If I switch to the box right now, I'll probably get it in one try. This better work. Fuck you, life. Okay, I think the, th the main thing is I have to grab that chest instantly. Doesn't matter anything else except grabbing that chest instantly when you get over there. Otherwise, you're, you're getting damaged and you're going to lose time. We're fucking gods? We're fucking gods? Let's go! See, like, sometimes you... I don't really understand some of that. The more I do this, I think, even if you're taking a time loss, like, for your first, like, 30 runs, if you're even somewhat committed to the game, you might as well just learn this strategy, because... It has higher potential. It's probably better training than the, the easier sword version. Whenever I say version, it just sounds like I said virgin. Like, I can't say the word version now without... Like, that's how weird we've gotten this planet. Come on. Yeah! Give me that! We hold diagonal, and we hold left, and we don't try super hard to get through that doorway. <laughs> I learned that rule. I know these rules. I'm already pretty good at this on controller. I'm sitting way far back on the screen, too. I can barely see. Down one. I am fucking Jaden, dude. I'm literally like a reincarnated version of Jaden and Crystal. Except with a little bit more pizzazz. Fucking Jaden, dude. Look at that shit. The guy is double bomb jumping from 30 feet away from his monitor like it's nothing. Just started learning this shit. I'm getting it like every time, even with the mess up times, I'm still getting it. I don't know if that, this one might not be it, but I wanted to try it with a different starting position, I guess. Fuck. I think I was two, one pixel too low or something at the end. Or it was just botched from the beginning. Who knows? Honestly, doing a couple diagonals to get down here just seems like the best way. Or the safest way, I should say. Most consistent. Doing just a couple diagonal single pixel movements. It feels like it's the easiest way.
Like this level of heartburn I have for no reason. It's going to go away in three hours. It'll be completely gone. I'll feel fine. Ugh. But the fact that it's such a douchey heartburn is ridiculous. That's all I can say about it. Oh my god, controller is so easy when you get warmed up on it. Like, the times that these people have on controller, CRT is not, they're not impressive at all. It's free on controller CRT. What's not free is emulator box. Or emulator leg controller. I'm like, better on the controller and I haven't even practiced these, some of these segments. It's kind of infuriating, actually. And that's a great way to do it. Don't worry about being a world record douchey. <laughs> if you watched my last video, you know what I'm talking about. We do not like world record dogma. We call that the dog shit dogma. It is world record is not even a world record. It's a douchebag in their room care too much about getting clout. It has nothing to do with them being the top player in the world. They're not. They're just some douchebag in their room that care too much about clout. I want to see who can have the most fun. That's the world record I want to see. Not who can douche their head against... Beat their head against a rock wall of gaming the longest and get lucky, basically. Not interesting whatsoever. I did that on Halo, I became one of the best, and, and I got basically nothing for it, so... Why would I ever believe in that? false gamer ideology again. Look at how good I am at this. Holy shit. Even though I'm losing time to the extra buffers, you might as well picture it as five seconds faster because it's cool. And that's why. <laughs> I don't have a reason. I don't need a fucking douchebag world record holder reason. Let me do my trick with my fucking buffers and shut the fuck up, you world record fucking pansies. You don't own this game, you don't even run this game anymore. You're a douchebag, ex-world record holding fucking douchebag. Shut the fuck up. I get to say what goes. I'm the one currently running the game and learning to run it at a high level. You are just an old head douchebag. Look at me, man. My 30 second bomb jumps are better than the 8 second bomb jump in the world record or whatever the fuck the stupid ass world record had. Me making a mistake that ends my run is cooler than the best thing the world record holder ever did in their entire life. So really, if you're off the edge, it's actually insanely hard to tell where you're supposed to go. And I still clutch it. Off the, I'm off the edge. Can't even see where the pixels are in the, on the first positioning of the bomb. And I'm still getting it like it's nothing. <laughs> like it's nothing with like 12 buffers later. <laughs> so this is a better spot to stand in because I'm off the edge, but I can at least see I'm not so far off the edge. Uh oh, this when it when it looks like that, it's literally impossible. That's like the douchiest thing that can happen. When you nail the trick and for some reason the bomb timing is horrible and you just get blown up twice. That right there would probably be the reason I don't do this. Because you perform it well and you just get butt fucked by life, basically.
And this is the part I have no practice on controller with, so give me a break. Still got it. I'm a fucking legend. I am pretty good at getting close to this lineup right away, though, at least. I don't know if my sword was moving up two pixels there. It might have been. It was not. It was moving up one pixel, and I was right. Cool. Cool. I mean, if I'm doing the bomb jump from all the way back here on a controller that I haven't practiced on, that's, that's not too bad. I don't, this might be so close that I can't even see if I'm in the right spot. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that one was right. So you, you want to be off the bridge a little bit on the left side, but you don't want to be too far off. Otherwise, you get super butt fucked, like I just did. And it wasn't a good butt fucking, I'll tell you that. Oh, here's where we're very upset if we've missed that. Okay. The timing is actually so tight, but you just always seem to, like, just almost be in the right spot right before the bomb blows up, and then somehow it works out. Oh, fuck. I don't even know if this is possible now. It's probably too slow. Fuck you. Stupid life. You can never just give me a win, man. I tried so hard, and I fought so hard, and life's a douche, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> like, that's pretty much... It's better work. Fuck you, life. I'm the best now. You're just a douche who wishes it was me. You're just a douche who wishes you were me. It's life, and it doesn't fucking matter. Life's a cock douche. It's a fucking dude. I'm the coolest thing it ever did. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta be... Okay, so 21 seconds, plus I got a menu in this room. And that was a pretty clean version of the normal. Never mind, that 16 second is just basically the luck. Like, you're never going to get this in a run unless you're you're doing thousands of attempts and you're absolutely massively warmed up and you get lucky. Most of the time, this is going to happen where you're... Something like that. That would be good, actually, for a top-tier player. 18 second, 19 second, 22 second. Okay, so maybe the bomb... Maybe double bomb is better than I thought. Specifically because the normal bomb jump isn't as fast as I thought. I was just got it fast a few times and I was lucky, honestly. This shit isn't that much harder. It looks cooler. I got like the same room time and it was super easy. There was almost no risk of me fucking up there. Alrighty. <laughs> That's my weird, unadulterated, weird, weird, weird commentary. Hope you guys enjoyed. I don't, like, give myself time to practice simple shit. I, I don't deserve to feel bad for my mistakes a, a lot of times, because I don't even give myself a chance at practicing at one time. Like, entering this dungeon in that first room. Never practice it once, but I expect myself to, like, be as good as the world record douchey. Hmm.
Look how you can like fucking inch your way down with the diagonal. Uh, I do I do one pixel every time and then I try to go a right diagonal and I go two. I literally went down like six pixels in a row, down left. And then I tried to balance it out and go down right once. Nope, I go down two. I think I'm just at the point where I could probably do this in a run easily. Like, it wouldn't even really... Like, I'm basically levels above Jaden's skill. I just haven't practiced as much as him yet. Come on, dude. I can never get that clutchums right there. It's always the same thing happens every time. Fuck you, life. Train my fingers to be a master of a D-pad my entire life. I don't do it for a few years, and all of a sudden my fingers have no clue what they're doing on a D-pad. That's life in a nutshell. You are never the master. Life is the master. You're just a, an idiot, basically, trying to live a life. And life decides... Fuck you, bitch. Clutch as fuck. Slow ass broom time. Oh, never mind. The more I do this, the more double bomb is fucking dog shit. Alright, shit attempt. Took forever, and we're good. And it's massively faster than double bomb. Not really even close. That was seven, pretty much eight, nine seconds faster, and it was shit. All that work to learn a cool trick, and it's actually, it's not even a trick, it's actually a detriment to your runs. Sad. Oh, when it's like that, I can't fucking see, dude. It's so frustrating because I'm so close to where I normally am anyway. I'm so fucking close to where I normally am, but I'm just like one pixel too far to the left, and it's gone. And I can't see where I'm... I can't, the visual cue doesn't work properly. Anymore. Clutchums? I am fucking the best. All that hard work and slow room time. I love this trick for the practice and the feeling of it. I'm on the right pixel. I'm a fucking legend. Look, oh, I knew I was on the right pixel. Can I still get it even with fucking around? If I could still get it, that's insane. Oh my god, dude. I literally got on the right pixel, moved off unbuffered, moved back on buffered, and then placed the bomb. And I still got it, like, on the last frame possible somehow. Yeah. Sword, sword... There's a reason that why they teach you at first how to do that version. Because that version is just straight up better. It's easier. It's better to practice. It's better for runs. It's safer. It gives you all, basically all the same benefits, a fast room time, you get the trick done. You don't have to worry about throwing some crazy bomb and ruining, messing up the throw. The only reason to do bubble, bubble bomb jump is to give yourself some another way to practice. That's literally the, the best reason for it. Give yourself another method to do the bomb jump and practice it, I guess. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we went way too high right away, but if we come down properly, if I can get this... Usually the hard part is just getting some one pixel movement at some point.
Oh, fuck you. Yes! See what I mean? When I get those clutch rooms, I'm just better than everyone else on the planet. 40 second room time, but somehow I'm better. Well, all that work and basically because we aren't good enough to do perfect sword buffers, sitting a mile away from the screen, uh, I can't really use the double bomb jump in a run. At least... It would just kind of ruin my runs. It wouldn't be good for them. Fuck you, dude. I'm not even going to look at what happens there. I got that shit. But now you just get unlucky and you're actually inputting it right. And you're just getting unlucky and you're going two pixels down for some reason. Those diagonal movements are kind of coming in handy sometime. I know eventually they're going to butt fuck me. But they help more often than not, so... Cool. Yeah, anyone who grabs that second bomb on the bridge is a fucking douche. I literally won't watch your runs. I don't care about you as a human being. Sorry to be that mean, but... You're grabbing two bombs on a falling, collapsing bridge just to look better than other people. You're a douche. The trick is already this hard. It's already, you get stuck in buffer oblivion. And now you're grabbing a second bomb on the bridge just to be a douche. It doesn't really even save time. You're just doing it to be a douche. That's why I attack world record players. Because they're too douchey. They need to be attacked. I am the clutchest alive. I don't care how many buffers I take. I'm clutch. I'm better. The people who say that they're better at this don't run the game. They haven't run the game in five, seven years. They're not better. I'm better right now. My mistakes are better than the best thing they ever did. I'm better. Look at me. Better. Fuck you, douchebags on the internet. I'm better. 13 second room time. I'm fucking god tier. Like, you might say that I'm being ridiculous, but at the same time, inside the head of world record runners, this, that's literally how they think. I'm literally just memeing off of who they are as people. I'm literally better, too, at what they do. Look at that. Fucking god. Yo, where's that little helmet douche coming from? Is there two on this fucking bridge? And I normally just never see the second douche? Oh, what the hell? You're a douche. Fuck you, douche. <laughs> actually, knowing about those bombs is actually kind of good. The world record douchey isn't teaching me that because the world record douchey doesn't care. He's a douche. I'm Jaden. I do double bomb jumps in my sleep and you don't do runs. World record douchey. I do double bomb jumps in my sleep. I am Jaden reincarnated. And the world record holders are fucking douchebag. And everyone trying to be like them also. I refuse. Once I learn spooky action, I'm coming for you, douchebag world record douches. I'm not coming for your douchebag time, I'm coming for your spirit. I'm gonna show you that I can have more fun playing your game than you can, and I can get a great time as well. I am fucking the double bomb Mike, dude. Nobody does. Nobody is currently doing the double bomb jump on two different controllers, two different input devices. I can do that. Nobody else is doing that right now. 
And nobody else ever did, either. Except back when they were trying to get into AGDQ like fat. Fat boys. I am the world record, bro. I'm literally a world record incarnated into a human being. Alright, I'm done. See you guys. I'll put this with some other practice and we'll stop talking like douchebags. I don't care. I'm just gonna do whatever the fuck I want in my life from now on.